Super Mel. He Please. definitely, y'all done cheated Mel now. Y'all know Mel should have been on the list. And he was not on the list. We call him Super Mel, if you didn't know. He do everything, man. Backflip and practice, he do whatever you need to do. Walk the dog, paint, get fence, Gatorade, cool, all that. He do all that, man, that's Super Mel. Oh, a lightning bolt from the right edge. It's Melvin Ingram. He's one of the guys I think's been underrated. You're not gonna get just the same old move from him every time. I think, you know, he can do any kind of backflip you want. You, you, you know what kind of athleticism he has. If you mess up on your technique, if you overset, give him the right away to go inside, he's gonna beat you. Hey, they got a sandwich. They got a sandwich. They got a sandwich. They got a sandwich. Talk about yourself. What do you bring? What are your everything, strengths? Everything. Yeah, everything. I bring it all. I feel like I'm one of the unique players in this league. I can play every position on the football field. And that's not even exaggerating. We're talking like strong safety? A any position out there. You got I, that kind of foot speed? Definitely. I'm on my Dion. That's what he talks about. I'm on my Dion. Scooped up by Melvin Ingram. Touchdown, Chargers. Tackle me in the end zone. I'm like, bro, why you wasting your energy, bro? What's up? The thing about him is his quickness. Him and Vaughn have that freakish, you know, that little quickness, that little suddenness that just makes you a step late. The way he can get to where he needs to get before they can react is just unbelievable. They try and match him up on some guards. Moving from the right and the left, they can flip both so they can put them on the same side. Now he's going to go down. There's Melvin Ingram. Boy, did he hit Smith hard. I, I killed him with a spin one time, too. He said, boy, that spin was nasty. Ingram and uh, Joey Bosa, I mean, they got, you know, a two-headed monster on the edges. And what's unique about them, they even line them up on the same side sometimes and just really dominate one side of the line. You see Melvin kind of roaming around in the middle, and those guys are always showing up on tape. You ask him, he say he should be number one. He definitely going to say he should be number one if you talk to him. Who'd you put at number one? Me, definitely. I don't think you could put anybody else there. Melvin Ingram's game is built on finesse and power. It's a loss of seven, and Ingram just shoved his own offensive lineman into him. His presence is constant, and so is his impact. I don't really have to motivate myself to play the game of football. Either you got it or you don't. There's really no friends between the lines. At the end of the day, we get paid to do this, and we get to take care of our families with this. Go sack the what? quarterback. Let's go stop. Got Let's go. It. Yep. And Alex Smith had nowhere to go. He might as well get into the fetal position. If he get paid, he ain't gonna take care of my family. Just like if I get paid, I ain't gonna take care of his family. So I gotta go out there and earn my money. Yeah, we, we put not foot on him. We put not foot on him. We put not foot on they throw. How about a play where he maybe he got the best of you? Nah, I don't, I don't think there's no plays like that against no opponents. Nothing like that at all? Nah.